In the heart of North America, a war rages beneath the surface. A battle not against a traditional enemy, but against an aquatic invader so relentless, it has reshaped entire ecosystems. Some call it an ecological disaster. Others see it as an untapped resource. But one thing is certain. Asian carp have become public enemy number one in American waterways. With populations exploding into the millions, these fish now dominate large sections of the Mississippi River Basin, and they are knocking at the door of the Great Lakes, a freshwater system that provides drinking water for over 40 million people and supports a $7 billion fishing industry. Can we stop them? Or will they become an unstoppable force, changing North America's waters forever? This is the story of America's most hated fish and the fight to stop them before it's too late. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any exciting content from Farm Marvels. The story of Asian carp in America begins in the 1970s, when they were imported from China to control algae in fish farms in Arkansas. But nature had other plans. Floods in the 1980s and 1990s allowed thousands of these fish to escape into the Mississippi River, where they found the perfect conditions to thrive. Since then, they have spread uncontrollably, invading at least 31 U.S. states, with their numbers reaching into the tens of millions. Unlike native fish, Asian carp grow rapidly, some reaching over 100 pounds, 45 kiju, and can consume up to 40% of their body weight in plankton every day. Their insatiable appetite starves native species, disrupting food chains and threatening the balance of aquatic ecosystems. The most infamous member of this family, the silver carp, has a bizarre and dangerous behavior. When startled by boat engines, they leap out of the water, sometimes up to 10 feet, three meters high, injuring boaters and fishermen. Asian carp are not just an environmental problem. They are a multi-billion dollar economic threat. If they establish themselves in the Great Lakes, they could devastate the $7 billion recreational and commercial fishing industry, wiping out native species like walleye, lake trout, and perch. In areas overrun by silver carp, boating has become dangerous due to the risk of injuries from airborne fish. These fish also alter water ecosystems, leading to algae blooms and murky waters that reduce biodiversity. Asian carp already dominate 63% of the fish biomass in parts of the Mississippi River Basin. In some areas, for every 10 fish, nine are Asian carp. The big question now is, can they be stopped? To prevent their spread, the U.S. and Canada have invested in high-tech defenses, but will they be enough? The Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal, the main connection between the Mississippi River and Lake Michigan, has been fortified with an electric barrier, a system that shocks fish trying to pass through. This project has cost over $200 million so far. The U.S. government also spends millions of dollars annually on commercial fishing programs that remove five to six million pounds of Asian carp per year, but it barely makes a dent in their population. Some scientists propose a radical solution, completely closing the Chicago Canal, physically blocking the connection between the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River. This would be the ultimate defense against the invasion, but it comes with major economic consequences. The Chicago Canal is a vital transportation route, moving over 600 million tons of freight annually, including petroleum, coal, and steel. Shutting it down could cost the shipping industry billions of dollars, leading to fierce opposition from businesses. Beyond physical barriers, scientists are exploring cutting-edge solutions to control the Asian carp population. One of the most promising is biological control pills, microparticles designed to be trapped in the carp's gills, but filtered out by native fish. 
These could be loaded with viruses, bacteria, or other agents that specifically target Asian carp, reducing their numbers without harming the ecosystem. Researchers are also experimenting with water guns, devices that emit sound waves strong enough to repel carp from sensitive areas. Since silver carp are highly sensitive to vibrations, these sound barriers could help steer them away from key habitats. Another approach is using food attractants to manipulate carp movements. Scientists have found that carp respond strongly to certain types of concentrated algae. If the right attractant is developed, it could be used to lure and trap large populations of carp for removal. While billions are spent controlling the spread of Asian carp, some experts suggest a simpler solution. Eat the problem away. In the U.S., carp are dismissed as trash fish due to their bony structure and lack of consumer familiarity. Yet in China, Vietnam, and Southeast Asia, they are a highly valued protein source. This raises an important question. Is the real issue the fish itself or how Americans perceive it? Across the Midwest, Processors are exporting thousands of tons of Asian carp to Asia, while U.S. chefs experiment with turning them into fish patties, jerky, and gourmet dishes. A blind taste test by the Illinois Department of Natural Resources found that most people couldn't distinguish between Asian carp and tilapia, yet the stigma remains. Unlike salmon or tilapia, which benefited from smart marketing, Asian carp's invasive status has overshadowed its potential. As an agricultural expert, I see a massive opportunity being overlooked. With 44 million Americans facing food insecurity in 2024, why are we ignoring a nutritious, abundant, and sustainable protein source? Instead of spending billions on containment, why not invest in developing a thriving Asian carp industry in the U.S.? Changing consumer perception takes time, but history proves it's possible. Lobster was once prison food before marketing transformed it into a luxury. Chilean sea bass was rebranded from an obscure species into a premium seafood choice. Could Asian carp follow the same path? The answer may determine the future of America's battle against this invader. Despite billions spent, Asian carp are still spreading, adapting, and outcompeting native fish. The fight is far from over. Scientists, policymakers, and local communities must continue working together to find innovative solutions before it's too late. The battle is not just about saving native fish, but protecting an entire ecosystem and the industries that depend on it. Will we find the ultimate solution, or will Asian carp continue their unstoppable march? The future of America's waters hangs in the balance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Farm Marvels for more fascinating stories about the world of farming, food, and nature.